it's me again, it's Tamira Danae. How are you doing today? So I'm gonna have to film in my actual room today. I am in the middle of some construction. First of all, it ain't clean. <laughs> there are clothes everywhere. So I need to do some laundry, I need to do some folding. Not that you care, but I'm gonna tell you anyway, just cause you know you're here. So with this being said, yeah, I'm getting a new dresser, getting a new vanity, cause you know, mine is older than me, I think. So I think, and it's falling apart. So I think it's, it's, it's time for a new one. So. I'm going to be filming this way until that is fixed. And because I procrastinate so much, it probably won't be fixed for a long time. So today I wanted to rate my favorite Hamilton songs. I know I'm so late. I'm almost two months late. But you know, better late than never, right? Okay, I'm going to be so honest, y'all. Yeah, this was so hard for me because like all the songs in Hamilton are just magic. Also, wait, look at my nails. Ain't they cute? They match my shirt. <laughs> Ooh, I'm just, I'm just diving. Okay, yeah, don't judge me for my hair. I'm getting my hair done in the next few days. So that way I can cosplay um, one of my favorite characters. So I'll head over to my Instagram for the next few days and you're gonna see it. It's one of my favorite characters that- Back on topic. Wait, what was I saying? Anyway, oh yeah, so Hamilton. This was probably the hardest thing like ever just because like all the songs in Hamilton, they're fantastic. So what I did, I was like, okay, I'm gonna cut off at 10. And instead of rating them from like worst to best or best to worst in that 10 pile, what I decided to do was just like rate them. I decided to take the cheap way out and I decided to rate them. Or I decided to put them in order in the way that they appear. <laughs> Cause I'm awful, okay? I can't choose. I tried. I literally sat there for hours and I'm just like, I can't, I can't decide. <laughs> like they're all just so good. Like all of them stir up a different kind of emotion in me. So yeah. So with that being said, we're going to get started. Usually I would, well, not usually, because I guess I just started this channel. I was going to do this like while putting on makeup. You do like a cute get ready with me. But since, you know, my vanity is in the middle of getting out of my house, hopefully, because again, procrastinator. Can't help it. Was born this way. You know, it's crazy about procrastination. Like the thing that you have to do, I don't know about you guys, but the thing that you have to do, it literally takes three seconds. Okay, maybe like an hour tops. And it's just like wow I could have did that I could have done that so long ago but no because procrastination Ugh, guys I don't know why I'm like this please send help got it but like for the future I think I want to do some get ready with me's because I think that'll be really cute and plus I like to do my face it is hard to multitask just because like it's me I talk a lot I like to focus when doing my makeup I like to focus when doing my makeup but like I think I want to make that a regular thing on this channel. Just talk about life, talk about whatever I want. Uh, anime, painting, um, TV shows in general, movies, books, musicals, plays, the whole shebang. I have a lot of fun hobbies. All right, so let's get started. Well, I think we all can agree that Satisfied is the number one song in the play. Like, period. So with that being said, I decided not to include it in my list because I thought that was too easy. Like, I think that's a universal thing. So we all know that's number one. So we're gonna get past that. Now let's go to my 10 or top 10, top 10 ranking, okay? So for the number one spot, we have the Skylar sisters. You have the three sisters going downtown to watch the less fortunate just work. And you know, the revolution's getting started in New York. I love Angelica cause she's like, bro, if you don't get show, eh. I love it, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love Angelica so much. Another thing, I tried to pick a favorite Skylar sister. I couldn't. How? How do you pick a favorite Skylar sister? Can somebody please explain to me? Like, they all just, not only are they beautiful, they can sing, and they're just, they're all so wonderful. I don't know much about Peggy, but just, like, the woman who played her, Jasmine Cephas Jones, love her. Like, let me just tell you. So I do sing um, for a living, for a living, for a hobby. I would like to make it a living. I gotta, of course, improve, but you know, I'm only 20 something, so I got time. I tried singing Say No to This, even, okay, sorry. I know that's not Peggy's line, or Peggy's song, but I, it's the same actress who's playing uh, Mariah Reynolds. Anyway, I tried singing Say No to This. So here's the thing, I can hit high notes, but like she does it so well. I was like, wow, I actually can't do this. And then I got sad about my life. Yeah, they're all, they're just super talented. And also anyway, Angelica was like, she was kind of a feminist or at least she kind of seemed like it. Cause she's like, I'm telling Thomas Jefferson, hey bruh, you better include women. Also y'all, the very end, y'all can't tell me that harmony, the greatest city in the world. 
Okay, I know that was awful. I'm sorry. Y'all can't tell me that that does not produce tears in your eyes. Like, how? Anyway, we're gonna move on. If I don't move on, this video will literally be 30 minutes, and we don't want that. Listen, I got a small attention spam. You probably do too. If you don't, great, but like, I do, so we're gonna move on. Next, we have Wait For It. Lynn says that this was one of his um, best songs that he has actually written, like, period, not just for Hamilton, but like, ever. And honestly, I, it's definitely up there. You know, this is the one song that I f actually feel truly bad for Burr. Like, I understand his, where he's coming from. Like, I've been in his shoes, I guess. So now that I think about it, I have been Hamilton and Burr, like, the same amount of times. Just because, like, sometimes I'm be Hamilton where I'm just winning, constantly just going, going, going. Other times I'm Burr, it's just, it's so hard to see someone who started off like in the exact same spot as you and they just skyrocket, they just speed past you. That could be anything. That could be somebody else's career taking off and yours is not. That could be people in my life getting into relationships, engagements, getting married and all that fun stuff. I think my dad's playing music, so sorry if you hear that, which is fine. You know, it's his house, he pays bills, so he can do what he wants. I'm the freeloader. You know, moving out of the parents' house, which I hope, I hope to do soon. <laughs> I love my parents, but I can't do this no more. But also, yeah, I don't have money, so I guess I'll be here for a long time. Of Leslie Odom Jr., can we just give him like a round of applause? Like his vocals, I... Why did he have to be married? I want him so bad. But anyway, I think the reminder is like, hey, your time is coming, you know, whatever. Even though I kind of don't agree with the term wait for it. I mean, I mean, I do. Life is so hard because sometimes you either have to wait for it or you have to just keep going. But like the problem is, which do you do? How do you know which one to do? <laughs> well, and that's why life is hard. Next, we have Guns and Ships. Y'all, this song, brilliant. I finally mastered it, by the way. Also, can we just give David Diggs also <sighs> that man? Y'all, that man can get it. Listen, listen, look at me, look at me. That man can get it. I think he raps like a little over 17 words and like four seconds and he like broke some kind of a record that is impressive <laughs> like that's that's awesome number four we have yorktown now y'all the musicians especially the violin players they went so hard during this song and then you got freaking hercules mulligan also i just really like the sound of oak's voice so the fact that he just went hard i'm hercules mulligan i need no introduction when you knock me down i get the back up again let's go do the do oh do ah. Ah. then you got hamilton realizing like whoa wait a minute eliza wants me back you know at home and she's expecting like holy crap everything is just so real we're about to die maybe we're fighting for our independence it's just the feels the whole world is literally turning upside down and also you have freaking john lauren with the first black battalion just they win they win they win the independence for white people but next we have the room where it happens where lynn also says this is one of his best songs and they both go to burr because i mentioned before he said that about wait for it so, so basically as the song says general mercer dies um at the battle of i believe princeton and they think about their own legacies and they're like wow here we are busting our butts and we get nothing General Mercer just dies and he gets a street named after him and like what what is this nonsense? And Hamilton is stressed, you know, his position was obviously threatened before back in I think the first cabinet battle between Thomas Jefferson and uh I almost called him Hercules Mulligan, um James Madison. And Burr is like, okay, I don't want to be left out anymore. Um, so he switches parties. But can I just say the way that they switch that they showed us that he switched parties in the film, I would have never thought about that in like a million years. Like brilliant i like the way they took the tablecloth how it went from red to blue yeah red to blue i'm just like wait and i it took me maybe two times to see the film i was like to understand it i was like that's wow that that's brilliant that's very brilliant so kudos to them next we have one last time and you know this is where washington is tired so he's informing hamilton he's like hey bud I'm stepping down. So Hamilton's obviously surprised. He's like, no, no, you're not. And then he quotes scripture um, in Micah 4, is it 4-4? Four, four? I believe it's Micah 4-4. Four, four. That's what I have written down, but also my handwriting is so sloppy. So like, we're just gonna assume it's Micah 4-4. Four, four. 
Um, so also this was also inspired by Will I Am song Yes We Can. And that's when Barack Obama like read um one of his speeches. It was ugh, it's just it's 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 brilliant. It's just so beautiful. And Chris Jackson, man, Chris Jackson killed it. Like during the his performance, I actually cried. I was like, wow, that wow. <laughs> Ugh, the emotions. Next we have We Know. Okay, can we just give Thomas Jefferson, uh, Davy Diggs, his props for pimp walking like that? I was lying. All right, okay, I can get you with this. Uh, oh, I'm a weird person. So anyway, they're confronting Hamilton and it was just like, dang fam, we came here to expose you, but you, uh, wow. Next we have Hurricane. So this is where I feel bad for Hamilton. So he is reflecting on, you know, his crappy life. He did have a, that, that sucks. Like I can't, I can't imagine. Like, I mean, I complain about my like, minor inconveniences in my life, which I mean, to me, they're major, but like to someone else, they might be minor. It's just like, wow, I feel really horrible for him. Like that's all the stuff that he went through. That, like, that's awful. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Like, I don't even know if I have a worst enemy, but like, if I did, I wouldn't wish it on him. And like, basically also the people from his, from where he came from, they were a bunch of strangers who like helped him. Like, hey, this kid's going somewhere, you know, he had a really bad start, but like, he's going somewhere, so like, it's fine. So he's like, all right, you know what? The only way that I can protect my legacy, I can clear my name, I'm gonna write this Reynolds pamphlet. And that leads us to number nine. I think Reynolds pamphlet is bomb. It's like, dum, 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 the Reynolds pamphlet, dum, 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 dum. Have you read this? Dude, it's, <sighs> I actually read uh, both of the uh, Hamilton books. I guess they're all multiple, but I read the one by Lynn manuel Miranda, then I also read uh, The Hamilton Affair, or Ed, A Hamilton Affair. So anyway, yeah, 95 pages. Like, boy, who you think gonna read all th this, boy? Men. Men in general. They just always doing the most. Like, wh why? For what, though? Why? What made you... You have a brain. Use it. I guess he did use it, because that sucker was 95 pages. Like, ain't nobody else gonna write that... Who you know gonna write that many pages? Nobody. Well, I mean, if you wanna be a writer. Okay, anyway, we ain't gonna get into all this fun stuff. And then you got freaking David as Thomas Jefferson. Now I'm gonna be president. But you know what I find so funny? I'm sure a lot of them cheated on their wives and a lot of them cheated on their wives like with slaves and it probably wasn't consensual. So I'm just like, well, why is this such a huge deal? I don't know. From that current point of view, that's that's how I feel. Honestly, also in the book, I found out that Mariah Reynolds, or one of the books, Mariah Reynolds actually made her own version of the Reynolds pamphlet, like her side of the story. And she actually ended up getting a divorce from her husband and Burr represented her in the case. So that's pretty cool, fun fact. Can we, I just feel so bad for Eliza, like baby, you, did, you deserve better. And number 10, we have, drum roll please. Do -do 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 Election of 1800. So John Adams is not that hot. He's not, you know, running real popular with the audience. Makes sense, makes sense. And so you got freaking Burr charming his way through things. And you got Thomas Jefferson who's bougie. Hey, I'm a Francophile. I know where France is, <laughs> bitch. He didn't actually say that. <laughs> the pettiness, I love it. I love it, I love it. I really, really do. Um, but yeah, Hamilton's obviously been missing for a while because you know, his son, obviously, then him getting back together with Eliza. Baby girl should have kept it moving. And these men ain't worth it. But y'all ain't hear that from me. Actually, wait. Yeah, tell the whole world that I said it. I said it. These men ain't worth that. Argue with your mama. Not with me. So anyway, so he's been obviously out of political affairs. It was like, okay, well, who are you going to choose? Are you going to choose, like, Burr was your friend and he changed parties on you. And then, like, you have Thomas Jefferson, who was literally never your friend. So it's like, you have a lose-lose, as they say in the song. And he's like, you know what? I've never agreed with Jefferson, but you know, at least I know what he stands for. So like, I'm gonna go with him. Which like, I thinking about it, I don't know what I would have done. Not that it matters or anything, but I'm gonna put my two cents in there. Yeah, like they're both your enemies, but like if you have someone who you don't agree with versus someone who has no opinion, I guess it's hard because like at least you know what that person does say and like that person could do whatever they want and you wouldn't know like what if that turns out to be horrible what if he turns out to be like the next hitler you just never know and we will never know yeah i don't know i guess if i it's hard because also like if that person doesn't really have an opinion you could like pers you could persuade him kind of just like hey so i know you don't really have an opinion on this but like yeah but like you want someone who already like has opinions so like but you're just there for like backup you're not there to make decisions for him so i guess i kind of understand they're all horrible but like i think yeah yeah that's fine and it's so funny burr came up to him he's like well 
I've lost the election, but like, I'm your vice president. And Thomas Jefferson was like, Partnership? What, what, what partnership? Ah! I wish you would be my vice president after you openly campaigned against me. Boy, please. I was like, that's Thomas Jefferson. I would have played some of the clips for you, but I kind of don't want to get copyrighted by Disney because, you know, they on a roll. Yeah, we don't want that. So yeah, like, subscribe, comment if you like, com be nice. This is 2020. Learn to be nice to people, thanks. If you like more chaos, Go ahead and subscribe for me. It really does mean everything, all 16 of you so far. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much and bye.